Hey YouTube, it's Justin, AK Demonic Sweaters. Today I have a little video about these hi-hats here. These are Peisty, <laughs> couldn't get them apart, Peisty 402 hi-hats, 14 inch hi-hats. And these were made probably in the early 80s, somewhere around there. And the thing is with these hi-hats, <clears throat> I've had these for uh, several years now and I've used them on a lot of recordings actually. I've used these on recordings with Ronan Conroy, with Echoscape, with my own demonic sweater stuff. I, they were on the album Tracker Adjust as well as In Depth and a lot of my stuff. I've used these hi-hats quite a bit. I think they sound really, really great. This line of Pisces are actually a pretty weird uh, line of symbols and they came with a couple of different logos. This is the old logo and you can see mine has a kind of a bend on it right here, but it's been like that since I've had it. Let's see if you can see it can't really tell but anyway it is bent slightly on the edge but it's not that big a deal uh, I think it looks like it probably fell over on a stand at one point uh, with one of the previous owners <laughs> but the thing is with these 402 symbols is these are made out of nickel silver and actually if you look at the bottom one it's in a lot better shape than the top one it even says nickel silver on there nickel silver is a kind of a strange symbol alloy it doesn't get used that much anymore and you can tell pretty quickly when it's nickel silver because they're literally silver um, they're not really a gold or a bronze looking color like most symbols and uh, I think they have a really unique sound and actually the new Vader symbols that I showed you guys in some other videos those are also made out of nickel silver so they have kind of a silvery look to them as well even though I would say that the Peisty 402s sound very different than the new Vader symbols so Anyway, these symbols, when they came out, weren't really a expensive line of symbols at all. In fact, they were very cheap. Uh, they were supposed to be like a student line. Uh, but regardless, I still think they sound really good. Now, I actually have a crash on the way that I just ordered, uh, a Peisty 402 crash. And I haven't had any of the other 402 symbols yet, so I'm excited to get that one. I'll definitely do a video about it when I get it. But for the time being, I wanted to show you guys these and just kind of give them their own video. So I'm just gonna set them up and play them for a while and you guys can hear how they sound.
right, guys, that's all for the Peisty 402 hi-hats. And, uh, yeah, I think they sound really nice. They're very kind of uh, bright, uh, very crisp-sounding hi-hats. They work really good in rock or things like that, though I have used them for other music as well. Uh, I don't know if you consider Echoscape rock, but it worked really well in there. They have a nice articulation and stick definition. Uh, they're a little on the heavy side. They're not really heavy. I guess they're, I don't, again, I don't have a way to weigh my cymbals. I'm not sure how everybody's weighing cymbals in grams, but I just don't have a scale like that. Uh, but I would say they're a little heavier than average, uh, but not very, not super heavy. They're like a medium heavy somewhere around there. The bottom is definitely heavier than the top, which is usually the case on hi-hats. Uh, but they sound really nice in my opinion. And, you know, I like to have them, uh, at, you know, for certain projects. And I, I really like the open sound on them. They have kind of a cool, I don't know, it's kind of hard to describe kind of sound. There's definitely like an overtone there that I, I like. And I also used them on some of the first Minnesota record, not all of it, uh, but there's a few tracks on there where these were the I had. So anyway, thanks for watching everybody, and hopefully you enjoyed the video. Don't forget to subscribe and click the bell icon and like, so you get notified every time I upload new content. Well, that's the bell icon. But anyway, thanks for watching everybody, and I'll see y'all really soon. Later.